Hey everybody, this is Kareem from Big Belladonna Fashion and I'm back with another crochet review. Today we're going to be doing like a double review, uh, a comparison of sorts, and I'm going to be showcasing two types of hair. We're going to be looking at the Cuban Twist by Freetress and the Jamaican Twist by also by Freetress. Uh, this one is the Shake and Go. Well, actually both of them say Shake and Go. This one says the Equal Line. Um, this is a strand of the Cuban Twist. I got a number two and I got a number three, um, I'm sorry, I got three packs of the Cuban Twist. And this is a strand of the Jamaican Twist right out the back. Uh, right out the pack, I got um, three packs of this as well. The texture of this hair, which right now I'm holding the, um, the Jamaican Twist, and this is again the Cuban Twist. The texture of both of the hair is actually kind of coarse. It's um, my my inclination just based on the texture alone was to not like the hair, uh, especially when I got it on the wig. I was like, oh, I'm not going to like this hair. It's going to be too coarse. Um, it's not going to work like I wanted to. And I actually didn't like the way it looked when it just was right out the pack on the wig. It was huge. And I've talked about lion hair before, like it looks like a lion's mane. That's how this hair looked when it just came right out the pack. Now, you may be asking if you if they're so identical, how can you tell which one is which? The only reason I can tell which one is which is because the Cuban twist is not only a little longer, this one's 10 inch and this one is 12 inches. It's actually a slight big thick, uh, a, a little bit thicker, just slightly thicker than the Jamaican twist. Um, other than the thickness, they feel and look identical and they pretty much operate identically in the hair. For versatility, I always talk about how many things you can do with the hair. Um, many people would wear this just out as it is because if you like really big hair, go for it. It comes in a lot of fun colors. So, oh, and I'm talking about the uh, Cuban twist to be specific, actually. I've seen the Cuban twist in a lot of fun colors. So if you like big hair, big, nice, wild hair, go for it. This is going to be up your alley because it can get really full the more you put on there. Um, and because the hair was so similar, I only used a Cuban twist with this um, with the test strands, I only use the Cuban twist. But again, in my hair, in the wig, it's a mix of all of them. And I'll show you which roller I end up using in my hair. Um, well, actually, one of them is this. This is the hair on the white roller. I kept it on the roller so that you can see um, how the curl pattern is and so that I could tell the difference because, again, they all look kind of very close. So I used, actually, this roller in the wig as well. This gave me a tighter curl. This is just a single strand of hair, and when I rolled it in the wig, I actually used a couple of strands of hair, and it really looked nice when it was a thicker strand of hair. So um, on the rod, I wasn't too crazy about how it looked when it came out, but I'm glad I still used it because when it was in the unit, it actually looked a little better. The other one that I used was my Flexi Rod, um, and it had a looser wave here, as you can see. Um, it has uh, still a nice thickness. The last roller that I use is that Spiral Curl Roller that you've seen me um, showcase before, and this pretty much looks exactly like the Flexi Rod. It's just a little tighter. Um, and it has a little bit more defined wave and I'll put them up next to each other. You see, you might see the looseness um, here. Let's hold the one up and two. Camera one, camera two. So again, it's pretty loose. Uh, I mean, it's pretty, con um, what am I trying to say? It's pretty much the same. Uh, they're very, very similar. The, the curl patterns when you use the rods, the roller, or the spiral or the flexi rod. I mean, you got a nice curl pattern. And it's actually um, really nice and full, and you need, uh, it all ultimately use six packs. You need a lot of packs to get that nice fullness, and it also still looks very natural. That's the wonderful thing about it. So it transformed from being a lion's mane to being very manageable and to looking very realistic, and I love that about it. The other thing is wearability. It's actually very easy to wear. Um, lightweight, it's not heavy at all. I mean, it just, again, once again, feels like you have a nice full head of hair. Um, it's something I would definitely crochet into my hair because my hair is very close to this texture. Not from, um, 
from the way it looks from a feel not from a feel standpoint no my hair is much softer than the hair but from the fact that fact that ugh, my uh, tongue tied today the fact that it could blend easily yeah I could totally wear this crocheted into my hair and be very very okay, so happy my with five it. latch hook rating system one is poor and five is the best this double review of basically a comparison of the Cuban twist from free trust and the Jamaica twist both hairs both of them get a four. Um, if I if I had to be pressed to say which one, or if I only saw if I saw both in the store and I were to buy again, I will say this: I probably buy the Cuban twist only because I do like the thickness. I do like the thickness a little better than the Jamaican twist. But if I couldn't find Cuban twist, I would use Jamaican and just be just fine, and you know get just as much good wear out of it. So that's it for this edition of Big Belladonna Crochet Review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry I took so long coming back. Took a little break from blogging and blogging. But I do plan to come back with some more for you. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Tell your friends. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.